Hello, and welcome to me, Dazblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. Okay, so, I've done a, a few bits and bobs between episodes, that I have. Um, so let's just uh, get out of this mode, because it's a bit confusing. There we go. Okay, so, as I say, I've done a few bits and bobs between episodes. Um, <clears throat> let's just start with this little bit over here. So... Originally, what I was going to do is have this as my tree or log wood harvesting area. So I planted um, just like a single row of trees, but these beehives just kept spawning and spawning, and another one, and another one. So, oops, did I hit that? So basically, what I've decided to do with this area, this is going to be um, a future apiary. I think that's the right word, isn't it? Apiary? Basically, it's going to be a, a honey farm so we can get some um, bottles of honey and some honey blocks and so on. So, that's that little bit. So, what I did, I moved the tree harvesting area into this little plot of land here. And it works quite well. And what actually happened? We got um, uh, a oh, what's it called? A beehive. <laughs> Couldn't get my words. Uh, we got a beehive. So I thought, yeah, okay, I'll leave that here. And what I'll do is I'll put some flowers over this side. So what that would mean is the bees would have to fly over from this side over to this side to get the flowers. But as they're flying over back and forth, they're also dropping. Um, I think it's pollen. They're dropping something anyway, <laughs> and it basically increases the the rate at which um, your, your seeds or your planted product will grow at. So it grows um, that little bit quicker. So, but I, as I was trimming bushes, I accidentally knocked the beehive uh, and got chased by some very angry bees. But to prove my point what I'm saying is if you look at these bees here look can you see the little drips things coming down well basically when they fly over anything that's planted no matter what it is it basically will just um, I think it acts a bit like um, what's that other stuff that we're collecting composts it acts a bit, a bit like that but obviously not as powerful but it definitely improves the speed at which plants will grow hang on a sec let's just go to bed because I don't want to get caught out with any mobs so I'll convert one of these asses to be our starter base but um, I've decided against that so I've started cutting into this mountain um, this is going to be uh, the entrance here um, these are going to have um, there's going to be lava flowing down here which will hopefully increase the light and hopefully um, look cool as well. I'm going to change these uh, cobblestone blocks out as well, probably change them to normal stone blocks. And up here, so up here, obviously we've got another room, um, I decided yet yeah, how this is going to unfold. But what I do know is we're going to have this uh, floor, which is also the roof to the down below bit, is going to be all copper. I want it to be copper and it's going to be um, wax copper as well because I don't want it oxidising. Although I might mix in, might mix in some um, oxidised copper slabs perhaps, maybe oxidised copper slabs. but. We'll see. Um, so, what I want to get completed today is the um, the wall that goes all around uh, the perimeter of these uh, these houses and some of the um, some of the farms as well. Just so we've got a nice little uh, perimeter to work with. Made a slight start here. So 
I'm gonna have like torches and whatnot on it. So let's just get back down here. Oh, that was a big jump. Ouch. <laughs> that much damage. Oh, yeah. What else did we do? Sorry. More bits and bobs. Um, I created this and, and I kind of rushed into it without thinking it through really so yes it's generating lava for me and it's only one lava the lava's in there and that's the um, stalagmite leaning down it's two actually um, and that is creating the lava but let me just uh, just drop that lava. Put it, put it there for safekeeping. So yeah, basically what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to have a four cauldron lava farm just here. I'm going to set that up with dripstone and the stalagmites and banging the lava and that'll give us four times as much production and then we can we can move this one when that's uh, when that's done um, also made a little um, the beginnings of a starter mine so this is level 55 which apparently is best for coal copper and emeralds not got one single single emerald so far, so I'm not sure on the uh, validity of that. Whether this is good for emeralds, um, got a lot of coal and copper, but no emeralds as yet. So probably after going to rely on villagers for that. Um, also got another level. Down here, uh, level 49. Now this level is purely copper, and basically that's what I've been uh, getting from it. So, as this mine, um, as this mine increases in size and gets built, um, we're going to uh, go down to all the way down to level minus 54. Apparently that's the um, best level for diamonds and redstones. Um, obviously we'd take a water bucket down there with, with us because, um, you know, lava traps. Doom, doom, doom. Um, yeah, and, so, and there's some various other levels. Um, level 7 apparently is good for iron, gold and lapis. So I'm going to have these, um, all, the, all these levels carved out at, at some point. So then should have a quite a productive little mine. So um, let's just go back up. Cow, come on, past. So the first thing I want to get done in this episode, like I say, is to get the old war finished and completed. So to do that, we want to get it done as quickly as possible. You, you know, you don't want to be following me around, placing each block. Well, you might, <laughs> you might want to do, but you know, um, whether you do or you don't, the way we're going to do it is we're going to jump into speedy time so we can get it done really fast. So I shall catch you on the other side.
Okay, so I did something really silly. I had my microphone on mute for this whole uh, video clip. So <laughs> I'll do the best I can to remember um, what was I talking about. Um, it was a bit of a moment. So here we go. So yeah, we just finished um, building the perimeter wall. So what I wanted to do was uh, get uh, different views of it so we can have a good look at it. So for me, we're standing where our future base is going to be, um, just above there. Um, we can see as we're looking around, it's not actually as big as I thought it was. It actually took me two hours to do this. Um, but obviously, you know, you don't see two hours because we did it in speedy time, didn't we? So, um, yeah, so it was just basically looking at a uh, different view so we're looking at a, another different view here from um, the, the left hand side I think we're on now um, so we can get a good idea of the primitive uh, yeah I think we're gonna I think we're gonna make the, that make that bigger at some point um, because we've got a I think we've got plenty of plenty of room um, to make this even make it make it even bigger but yeah, that's um, that's a nice view. It's not too bad. It's just a shame, um, as I say, <laughs> my voice was on mute. I, I can't believe I did that. Well, actually, I can believe I, I, I did it because you know I, I do it sometimes in, in work meetings. <laughs> I leave my microphone on double mute, so I'm talking away, and you know, oh well, oh well. Here we go. So. Um, so yeah, so we, we we've just had a had a quick look at the um, at the perimeter to see what it actually looks like now it's completed. I think what we're going to do next uh, it should be getting the um, getting a little lava farm on the go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm on my way now to show you where we're going to put it. So if you can see there, that's um, that's basically where I'm going to put like a four cauldron lava farm that will basically keep us in lava um, for any purposes that we want and it'll keep us in lava for quite a long time it certainly will so I'm just looking through the uh, looking through the chest to find the uh, dripstone and um, stalactites that I want to use and um, yeah I think, I think it was a case of going through a few desks so I was got uh, desks chests even um, I think what I, what I wanted to do is just basically find this stuff as quickly as possible, but oh, managed to find a bit of cooked beef there. That always comes in handy. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Yeah, um, I'm just clearing up the inventory slots, just bring a few things away. I really do need to sort out some proper storage. Um, it's getting to the point now where we're getting a lot of inventory, a lot of resources. It'd be nice to have like a, a proper big storage area. Um, so we're going to get that sorted out at some point. Um, also, as well, um, want to want to think about um, getting some villagers, don't we? Because I need I need a villager breeder. I need an iron farm. You know, th th those two things are must haves. But the downside of that is that you can't have those two things without villagers to start with. So I need to go hunting, hunting, find a village, find some villagers, uh, make a villager breeder, and then from the villager breeder we can get, um, then move on to making an iron farm, uh, we can make a trading all, but the village breeder is the key, that is the key um, farm that we need before we can do any of the other stuff. Once you've got a village bre villager breeder, things start looking good then because the um, it opens just loads of possibilities so um, yeah so here I'm just getting the bits and bobs for this lava farm so as you can see I've got the cauldrons got the dripstone got the stalactites so um, I realized it weren't high enough here so what I had to do is do a bit of um, digging down made it into sort of like a step step down um, just so that we could get the uh, cauldrons in and just so it, that everything just you know we want everything just to fit in there quite nicely don't we we don't want um, well we want to make it look as, as good as we can for the, the small area that we've got so 
here I am just uh, looking where I'm going to place my blocks. So get the dripstone placed in there. But as I say, that's when I discovered, hmm, yeah, that's just not quite high enough. Because by the time you put a cauldron under there and a stalactite, it's just like, boom, one, two, three blocks all stacked together. Doesn't look very good. And I mean, it'd probably still work. I think it'd still, you know, I think we'd still get the lava. But you, know, you want it to look half decent, don't we? You know, we don't want it just to look a complete mess. So. Yeah, so just uh, taking a, up a bit of the floor here, just removing these um, these wooden slabs. Uh, I was thinking about placing something there again, but no, we need to go a bit deeper. And I think, yeah, I think that's was just the right level to get us done. So obviously we want to clean up this um, dirt as well, and we'll remove the dirt and we'll replace that with cobblestone that's you know um, it, it just makes it look good and you know I, I don't know about you but I, I don't care whether it's hidden or not you know I, I, I just it, it just grates me if um, if 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 that um, if those dirt blocks were just like left in place and the cobblestone wasn't put there, you know it's I don't know call it OCD, call it being pedantic, um, maybe call it stupidity. I don't know, <laughs> but I, I don't I don't like to see things it like that because it just it hurts my eyes and you know my eyes are very sensitive to um, things that don't look right and things that look out of place. Um, also, as well, I don't know, I have this symmetry thing as well going off, you know, so I like to see things um, looking symmetrically good. Um, depending on what you're building, sometimes things can look good, you know, when they're not in symmetry. But I think things like, you know, if you're doing sort of like circular type um, buildings or archway type buildings, I think it needs to look symmetrical because if it done I mean again I don't know about you but it just hurts my eyes it really does my poor poor eyes so look as you can see here on, on the left I haven't even replaced that dirt yet under the wood and it looks a mess look at it would you leave it like that I, I couldn't leave it like that I'd just I'd do my head in it really would so it needs replacing which I think I'm about to do um, any moment now yeah, here we go. We've realised, <laughs> or should I say, past me has realised. Future me already knows what's going to be done here. Or should I say, present me. I'm in the now, yeah? Present me, not future me. But th that is definitely past me. But yeah, so this is where we're just tidying it up a bit. Um, got like a, it, it makes like a slight, you know, little walkway going down uh, we haven't even we haven't even put the uh, lava in yet we're too busy sorting <laughs> sorting these steps out um, but yeah which, you, know, you just want it to look nice I mean look at that bit of dirt there yeah exactly that bit of dirt there you need to move that thank you there we go so we've got a bit of stone there now so I think we need to do that with all these other bits of dirt and I can't remember if I did it but I hope I did because I'm thinking about it now and it's just hurting my eyes here we go past me has realized realized that the dirt has to go and we bang in the stone we're we gonna do it there please please do no oh no what have I done what have I done I've left the dirt there okay note to self Go back and sort that. That needs that dirt needs removing. That's gonna see that something like that. That's just gonna gonna play on my mind now. And it's it's not good because you know uh, you know some people will just think about that or do something like that and won't be bothered about it. But for me, that's just gonna play on my mind all the time now until I get a chance to go and sort it out. So okay so up here it looks like i was deciding um are we going to um build this very simple very easy lava farm um 
and and it is very simple it's very easy i mean i i, I don't even know why i was even worried about it because it it, it really is just straightforward um well, you're going to see what I'm going to do in a minute. We're going to get these, um, yeah, we decided on using stone. So, yeah, so we're just making the container now for the lava. Uh, as you can see, we've got four blocks. So each four blocks is going to be an individual lava source block. And we can then get our stalactites underneath there, or stalactites. I can never, I can never remember <laughs> which is which. Um, but yeah, we'll get that done, and we'll get the lava put in any moment. See, the, see the dirt and, and the gut there. Need to do something about that. Don't like the look of that. So I think past me filled that in. Very well done, past me. So we need to bang some lava in there now, don't we? Oh, just having a going back to have a quick check. The stalactites on first, then, and then pull the lava in. I don't know. Don't think it really, um, really matters which way round you do it. Um, as long as, as long as we get it done. So, have a hop. Yep. So. Oh, we took that down, didn't we? Had to remove that. Yeah, yeah that. I, I don't know what I was thinking when I when I did that single um, lava thing, but this is this is much better. It's like just tucked into the corner, out of the way, um, and, and that looks all right there. I think so. We've got um, got a nice little lava farm going off there. That is good. So where are we going now? What we're we doing? Um, yeah, this is this is a problem when you blooming leave your video on on mute. I mean, why? Why? Why did I do that? Oh. So what we're doing now, we're just getting rid of this um, single, single cauldron lava catcher. Emptied the cauldron, because we don't need that anymore. As I say, I have no idea whatsoever why I made that I suppose I thought it was a good idea at the time so just get that dismantled we don't need it now we've got like a four cauldron lava farm which is really nice and tucked out of the way that's all we needed so what are we doing now oh getting some em empty books I think yeah, we're going back to we're going to look at the lava farm because like the two cauldrons have already full with lava, but two of them are still empty. So I'm hoping that that's not going to turn into a problem. Seems a bit strange. I would have thought they would have all filled up at the same time, but maybe you know maybe that's not how it happens. So yeah, let's just tidy this up. Get this. Uh, Get this bit of lava. Oh, and I accidentally put it back and look at it, it's all coming down. So I quickly had to dig there so that the lava would flow down and not eat into or burn any of my, my stuff that I've got here. So let's actually grab the lava for real this time, which we did, thank God. Okay, so we just need to wait for that to dissipate out of the way and fortunately we didn't do any damage so all is good just fill these um, little bits back in where we just caught the excess lava that's fine so yeah you need to move those rocks past me 
please remove those rocks, we don't need those there, because they look silly. And that one, yeah. Nah. I mean, this is the entrance to the mine. And I was just looking at it and I thought, well, let's just, you know, quickly just tidy this up just, just a little bit. Um, we don't need to, uh, we don't need to go OTT with it. Um, so, just uh, uh, spruce it up a little bit. And there you go, the lava farm, or, well, do we call it a lava farm? Technically a lava collector, lava harvester. Yeah, I think that's what we can call it. But we've got two cauldrons full up and two not, so I hope that's not going to be a problem. Okay, so I think what we're doing now, doing um, uh, a bit of safety, I was thinking, Knowing me, I'll be go. I'll go running over there, and I'll run straight into that lava. So, if, if just put a fence around it. Yes, fair enough. Can still jump up over the fence, but just standard. You know, walking, running around. Um, it just makes it safe. <laughs> it, it, it makes it daz proof, basically, and that's what we want. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you now, if that fence weren't there, there'd be no end of times me coming in the base and walking straight through that lava. Yes just what I would do. I don't know why. I'm just silly like that. But with a fence there, as long as I don't jump, <laughs> as long as I don't jump, we should be safe and we should be good to go. And that's the important thing. And still, yeah, still only two cauldrons. I think I was just checking again and still only two of the cauldrons full up. Um... What am I doing now? Putting the fences back, I guess, in storage. We really do need a proper storage uh, place, don't we? I mean, everything's all just kind of messed up at the moment. Uh, I mean, some of it's organised, but some of it isn't. So, yeah. So, here, I just wanted to... Um, get on with um, just doing something quick and simple you know this is the entrance um, to our mine so I just thought just quick and simple and we'll um, just tidy it up a little bit put a little little sort of like miniature archway there I mean it, lo it looks okay I guess um, I, no, I initially put the stone there and I thought, well, that looks a bit strange, doesn't it? It looks a bit... So, I think what I need to do is, is change that. When I'm going to put a slab there, I don't know if past me put the slab there, but thinking about it now, I think that's what we could do. Or could put, maybe put an upside down stair there instead of the actual instead of the actual full block, maybe that'll give us the same effect. I think that's what I went with in the end. I think I went with another, another up down step. <laughs> Upside down a stair, a step, a stair, step, stair. Doesn't really matter what we call it, does it? Well, it, well, it does. <laughs> it's a step. Is it a step or is it a stair? <laughs> I think it's a step, isn't it? But yes, yeah, so I'm looking at it, looking at it, and I'm thinking. Shall I leave it? Shall I replace it? Shall I leave it? So I went with grab some slabs. So obviously I was thinking about replacing it with a slab. But then I keep looking at it and thinking, nah, we can't use a slab. Can't use a slab. It's got to be another step there. An upside down step. Yay, there we go, you see. And uh, I don't know. Uh, guess it looks all right. Uh, maybe we can tidy that up at some point. Make it look even better. But I guess it'll do for now. It, it looks kind of okay. 
Oh, looks like um, looks like I need to get a bit of bed. So, go to sleep, make it daytime. Have another another check of the um, lava harvester. Again, still only two cauldrons. Why aren't the other two filling up? This can't um, can't be a problem, surely. Uh, is he something wrong with lining four cauldrons up like that next to each other? I wouldn't have thought that would have caused a problem. But yeah, it's just a bit just a bit strange, isn't it? Uh, two cauldrons are getting full and only one and the other two are not. Um, okay, I was clearly looking at my inventory here. I don't know what I was doing with it. Why did I grab that block? Was I considering... Maybe I was considering putting that block there. So I grabbed it out temporarily. Maybe we could do something with that block and then... Oh no, let's put it back. <laughs> Change my mind. Put it back. Obviously I didn't like that idea. So I'm still looking at this. Oh, that's I was wondering where the torch, where we need to put another torch. Because yeah, just bang the torch there. Yeah, that looks good. Well, it looks all right. I wouldn't say it looks good, but it look it looks all right. It, it's fine for now. Okay, looks like just checking around the inventory again. Don't know why I was doing that. Um, again, this is this the disadvantage of mute it being on mute on the original video. Anyway, I went and collected two two bits of lava there, so that's two more buckets of lava to go into storage. Um, because we're going to be using some of this lava in our build as well. Um, lava makes a, a it, it doesn't doesn't just look cool, but it also um, acts as a light source as well. So it means using less um, torches, but. Here we are, I think we're at the end of the video now. Um, yeah, I was probably just doing a little outro here, looking around and saying what we're going to be doing next time. Because we need villagers, we need a villager breeder, we need an iron farm, we need a trading hall. But the village breeder is the first thing that we need. So we've got to get the village breeder, so we'd definitely be going on an adventure. So. With that, I look forward to going on an adventure in the next episode, and um, I'll say goodbye for now, and we'll, um, yeah, catch you in the uh, next episode. Have a good one, folks. See ya. Bye.